Hello out there. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to another exciting unboxing video here on uh, TC Connor Photography. YouTube. Hope everyone is doing good out there. I am um, set up here in the upstairs room. Kind of our, well it is our bedroom, but uh, kind of out of the studio. We're getting ready to do some uh, remodeling up here. And this area where I'm in could very well be the area that I do my unboxings uh, in and other stuff where I need the extra room. So we're going to do, uh, of course, as you see here, an unboxing. And there's a rather large box. Uh, I think if you saw my community page photo recently, may have an idea of what's in here if you recognize the emblem the graphic on the box but this video is not by uh, for any far stretch of the imagination sponsored by MPB but I did get this from them uh, during during a recent trade-in I uh, traded up for a new, well, you all will see what it is. I'm sure you can probably guess. I've mentioned it before. We're going to get this thing up, up and out of the box here. How about that? No trusty unboxing knife out of the way I'm recording on my Insta360 Ace Pro and I have the Rode Video Mic Go 2 uh, it kinda looks like it's angled down a little bit I may have to boost the audio in post because I'm a good bit a good uh, couple of hands arms lengths away from the microphone so maybe I can just talk louder from here on out and be okay. Let's see what we have here. Snake paper. All over the place. Oh, here's the box. And here's the MPB tag that says, enjoy your gear. Anything you're no longer using, time to cash it in. Scan now for a free instant quote. Photographer friends out there, if you all if you all are not familiar with MPB, please familiarize yourself with them, them fine folks because they have really good used gear. They guarantee it, and this is what this is came in the original box a Canon RF 100 to 500 super telephoto zoom this box down out of the way and we'll move my unboxing knife we'll put the bracelet on Okay, how's that look? And we'll we'll also do a comparison in this video because I want to compare this little piece of tape right here. I want to compare this telephoto zoom. Well, it's practically in. Well, everything looks like it's in the original. Well, I, I know it's in the original packaging, but it looks like it came directly from Canon. Now, Canon USA, they do have uh, used gear also. But you can't beat the prices of MPB. So it looks like we got some limited warranty information here. And uh, a little spec sheet on the... Uh, it says interchangeable lens instructions. So... To hang on to those and we got some 
a big, uh, nice piece of styrofoam. And it looks like it came with everything that it comes with if you was to purchase it brand new. Nice big carrying case, which I may or may not ever use, but well made. And that's it for the packaging. So we'll set this out of the way. Get the paper out of the way. And also we will bring in my 70 to 200 RF lens, which I don't have the barrel locked on it so it won't drift on me. So this is my 70 to 200 F2.8 L lens that I've had for a long time and it looks like the lens hood is getting a little dirty so but anyway that's the 70 to 200 let us remove the 100 to 500 which it comes with this and if I'm not mistaken there is a strap to use with this More foam. It's just like a brand new lens. Comes exactly like the way you would get a new lens. And I'm really impressed. So let's set this out of the way for now. And do some comparisons. And it does have a little bit more heft. I do believe than my 70 to 200. And uh, the plate here it doesn't have an Arca Swiss plate. Uh, it does have a little uh, quarter 20 threaded place where you could put one an Arca Swiss plate. I've never had a super telephoto zoom. So this is a first. This is going to be a first. I'm so anxious to take it out in the backyard or out and about and then find me some birdies and some little critters and some other little wildlife to use. But uh, it looks not brand new because it's not brand new but it maybe that's the finish that it's supposed to look like it's supposed to be a little dull and i think that's some kind of hard plastic and kind of the same thing on the 70 to 200 but let's take off this lens hood and look at the glass here okay you have a ring on the 100 to 500 it's a smooth it's called smooth and tight so you can turn this ring here and it tightens up the throw when you zoom in and back out so it's a ring around it see the 70 to 200 has a locking button see it's unlocked and it is creeping a little which uh i keep it unlocked when i'm not i may mean, keep it locked when i'm not using it but the 100 to 500, you will have to turn this 
smooth and tight ring to either now that's really tight and then you turn it the other way and it's real smooth and then you turn it and it gets tight so there's no creep when it's on the tight setting which is good the front glass looks excellent and um, I believe I can't see what the I think it's a 77 yeah 77 millimeter for your uh, if you have to have if you want to use neutral density screw-ons um, that's the size filter thread you're going to be needing and it comes with this uh, tripod plate which I see a lot of people just using it and carrying it around holding this uh, personally if I'm going to be doing any walking and carrying around um, I'll, I'll do very little I don't really walk around a whole lot carrying but it is heavier it is just a little heavier but that's not going to be an issue really okay there's a 70 to 200 let's put the lens cap on and compare size with the lens cap on and you can see here that the 100 to 500 is bigger, taller. It's got more robust because it has more glass in it for the zoom. So that's cool. Um, there's not much else to say, folks, <laughs> other than uh, be watching for my um, out and about video using this. 100 to 500 super telephoto zoom lens uh it, it's a um f 4.5 to 7.1 now which means when you're all the way zoomed out your aperture at the at the uh, will be 7. Point uh, what did I say? 7.5. Yes, 7.1 will be. That's as, that's as much open as you can get zoomed in to 500 or zoomed out to 500. Your aperture is opening. Not as, not as large as, uh, as you'd like, I guess. But depending on your shooting situation, your lighting... Uh, that it could be fine. So let's look at the rear glass here. Looks good. And this ring allows you to rotate your camera if you want to. So this is, that's it folks.